This is Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a bit of a go-kart in the form of this Mark 7.5 Fiesta ST. This car is a stage three car running around 360 brake horsepower, which if you know these cars, you'll know that is a lot of power indeed. Now, of course, in usual fashion, we'll catch up with the owner, Tom. He's gonna walk us around basically everything he's done to it, uh, maybe some future plans for it, and then we'll go out for a quick spin in this 360 brake Fiesta ST. Okay, so we're joined now with Tom, the owner, mate. Thank you so much for coming down sure. today in this. Uh, really like these, actually. They're actually pretty fun, to be fair, especially on some of the roads, which we're gonna be driving down a little bit later on. Uh, running some serious power as well. 360 yeah, brake-ish? about 360, 356. Which is strong for this. You buy it stock or? Bought it standard last September. Okay. Kind of pretty much done standard exhaust, induction kit. Yeah. Enter cooler. Yeah. Went stage two, which was I think it died at 250, 248 around yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And then literally about three months later, we bought the S280 turbo. Uh -huh. Slapped that on, bigger injectors. Yep. New clutch, ST200 clutch. Nice. And dyno that 356, I think. Fair play. Fair play. And it's obviously still front wheel drive, still pretty yeah, airy. Unfortunately, we've got oh, open diff. Open as well. diff as well. And yeah. Semi slicks. So. And semi slicks. Yeah. Uh, some NS2Rs on there at the moment. Um, so yeah, the bolt-ons, like you said, are they just fairly just straightforward intercooler? Yeah, intercooler kit? is quite simple and these front bumper comes off. The hardest part is probably turbo elbow because that's right down the back of the engine. Yeah, bay. yeah, it like goes the right bolt, way down there, yeah. Right down the back. Yeah, is it standard engine as well, not, not forged uh, or anything? Not forged, no. not a forge, but it's a bit expensive. So. Yeah, that's the thing, going from, well, stage, stage two to stage three is a big jump anyway. Yeah. And then when you look at the forging route as well, um, Yo, yeah. Is, um, yeah. But they pretty, do push good power. So. They do, yeah, they do. I mean, you can fairly reliably get over 400 brake on these now, can't you? Yeah, there's a couple and you can run external wastegates if you want. Yeah, yeah. Which I think everyone everyone likes. Mm. The mapping on this, is it just a, just a straight uh, map or is it switchable? Mapped by TRS. Uh, AJ <laughs> Motorsport is the one who's done all the work. Yeah. Switchable maps on here. So I've got 95 medium boost, 97 medium boost, 99 medium boost, 99 high, 99 mm -hmm. flames, and obviously the stock oh, files. Wow. Well. A lot, lot of maps there. Yeah. A lot of maps. Awesome. Sweet. And then obviously moving around, we've got a set of Team Dynamics on it. They Six, actually look really nice in, in silver. 16, yeah. They had them in black. Yeah. Wasn't a fan of the black, so I thought I'll try silver and kind of mm -hmm. stuck with it at this point. Yeah, yeah, why not? And then suspension wise as well, you suspension springs or coil overs. 35 IBEX, 35 yeah. mil IBEX. Mm -hmm. I want coils, but I'm trying to find a good set for the road, yeah, which aren't yeah. too stiff. Do you reckon it's going to be a, a kind of track car or is it just a fast uh, road kind of thing? Hoping for a track car. Yeah. But wait for the weather to brighten up a bit. That's first. true. That's true. And then one final thing as well, the exhaust. What kind of setup uh, are you running on it at the moment? It's a turbo back outlaw uh, Yakuza. Okay. Yes. So the slash cut one. Turbo back. Yep, yep. Turbo back. Uh, nice. Decat as well. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I think if that's pretty much everything. Yeah. I think we should go and have some fun in this thing. Yes. On some nice country roads. So we'll get it fired up and go for a spin. So you've 
done no like anti roll bars or anything like uh, that? No, I wanted to, but the week was about it was about an eight week wait for them. That's the trouble with parts at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. What map are we running in at the moment? Uh, high, no flames. Okay. So. Yeah. There is a lot of switchable maps on this, isn't there? Like what? Yeah, six, there's... something like that. Six, seven. Uh, six, yeah. That's And mad. it's all on a little little tablet. You can run diagnostics yeah. for it as well. Oh, that's so handy. So you can see. Like if you have any codes, full codes. Yeah. It's locked to your VIN as well, so no one can just grab it and uh -huh. ram it on their car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it throws you around everywhere. Oh it? yeah, it's so bouncy and like it's quite stiff. Yeah, it is. And it's, yeah. considering it's not on coilovers as well, yeah, it is quite great. a stiff ride. Yeah, absolutely. But the main thing is the drone. If that's it, yeah. It well, is, it talking about the drone, actually, within the interior, there's nothing back there, is there, really? No, completely stripped. Completely We've stripped. got makeshift damp, like, soundproofing, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's perfect for when you can put a cage in it now. Yeah, I'm looking at a cage, but I don't oh, yeah. have to go bolt in. Because you can do the half cage with every pointless. Yeah, you've got a K-brace kind of support structure in back there. does actually make a lot of difference, because yeah. the back on this is so light. It's like, lift-off oversteer is bad in yeah. this. Like, if you... Even if you let go a little bit, the back wants to twitch. And where it's not on coilovers, it's not really yeah. set up on the rear.